In this video, I want to explore what happens if the chi-squared statistic that you calculate is actually very small. And we're going to do that by investigating um, a data set that was uh, published in 1898. It's the classic Poisson example. A uh, bit morbid, but it concerns the chance of a Prussian cavalryman being killed by the kick of a horse. Uh, so there were 10 army corps uh, observed over 20 years, giving a total of 200 observations of one corps for a one-year period. So in one year, uh, there was one corp that actually had four people killed by horse kicks. Now, um, essentially, the question is, um, was something amiss? in that corps, in that army corps, or uh, was that uh, to be expected and it was just bad luck? Um, so how far away are we removed from the normal expectation is that? Um, so the first thing that we might want to do is work out the mean and variance of this distribution. So I'm going to plug it into my calculator. So menu number six, one variable. Uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 going into the X column. Frequencies 109, 65, 22, 3, and 1. So option, one variable calculation. The mean is 0 0.61 and S squared, the variance, is 0 0.611 to 3 sig fig. So actually, uh, they're very close. Okay, which uh, supports the Poisson model. Okay, so let's uh, use lambda as 0.61 and we will see uh, how close it actually is. Okay, so um, let's go uh, number and observed frequency. And we want expected frequency. Uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 109, 65, 22, 3, and 1. Right. Um, so what we've got then is I need to work out the problem of x being equal to 0 using that lambda. So I'm going to use the formula. So I've got e to the minus 0 0.61 times by 0 0.61 to the power of 0 over 0 factorial. And I need to multiply that by 200, 200 observations. So that gets me 108.6702. Okay, let's change it over to probability of one. And that's 66.2888. Right, probability of X being two. That's 20.2181. Let's try three. 4.1110 and now we've got to do probability of x being greater than or equal to 4 okay so probability of x being greater than or equal to 4 times by uh, 200 so I'm going to have to do probability of x being less than or equal to 3 times by 200 okay so let's work out what that is uh, using my calculator's press on CD. So I need 3 as x and so 0.61 there. So that would be 1 take away 0.996440382. No one times that by 200. So 1 take away 0 0.996440382 times by 200 and I'm getting 0 0.7119. Right. 
Okay then. Now, unfortunately, uh, I've got two small expected frequencies there, and even if I add them together, I'm not going to get over five. So I'm going to have to combine all three of those. So 20.2181 plus 4.1110 plus 0.7119. And we're getting 25.041. Okay, so FO minus FE squared over FE. Now, you know, looking at those expected values, they're so close to the observed values that you probably think there's no point doing a test. Um, it fits, the Poisson model clearly fits it very well, but we'll, we'll work it through. Um, so you've got 109 take away 108.6702 squared divided by 108.6702. So that's 0 0.0010. Very small contribution there. Then we've got 65 take away 66.2888 squared divided by 66.2888. So 0 0.025, just do it to three decimal places. And then the last one, uh, we've got 22, 25, 26. Take away 25.041 squared divided by 25.041. And we're getting 0 0.037. Okay, so chi squared would be the sum of those three, 0 0.001 plus 0 0.025 plus 0 0.037, and we get 0 0.063. So it's a very small chi squared value. Now, if we take a look at page 13, right, so look at the chi squared tables and We've always looked at the right-hand side, the right-hand tail, okay? But now, if you take a look at the left-hand tail, we're more in that kind of region for the probabilities, right? Now, nu here, what would be our number of degrees of freedom? Well, we started off with five columns, but we had to reduce it down to three. We had to estimate the parameter, lambda, and we would be taking one away anyway. So we're actually down to nu is equal to one. Now I don't, I haven't put down any significance level here, but nu is one. So, you know, if we, um, we looked at that, you're still looking at uh, clearly um, failing to reject the null hypothesis. Uh, if you no, I'm just looking at the right hand side. Okay, <clears throat> so if you looked at um, ten percent significance level, five percent, it's under all of those. In fact, we're looking at probabilities more on the left hand side. Okay, so with that, there it's fitting a Poisson model clearly very well. OK, and we could write out all the rest of the hypothesis test and we'd be able to say that um, there's evidence to suggest that um, it fits a Poisson model with lambda is 0.61. OK, however, you also need to consider um, when you're getting a very small chi-squared value, um, whether um, it's feeling like it's genuine or not because if i was to come up with a question it was like if i was to invent a question um and i wanted to make sure that um let's say i wanted to make sure that you fail to reject the null hypothesis then i would decide on a value of lambda 
and I would draw up a table and I'd work out what the expected values were and then I, you know, I would maybe go one up and round it up to 109. Let's put that down to 65. Let's round that up a couple of values at 22. Let's round that down to three and, you know, all oh, they add up to 199. Let's add on one more to make it up to 200. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm essentially just fudging the numbers um, and making sure that the numbers are close enough for you to then have an example where you are failing to reject. Okay, so you might be going, well, um, maybe the data was constructed to fit the model. Okay, um, so maybe I cheated that way. Maybe some of the data was omitted in order to fit the data nicely, to fit the model nicely. Um, and maybe some of the data is just made up. Okay, all of these are possible considerations. Um, and people have been found out of uh, having come up with some data, but actually the fit is too good to what the model suggests that it then think they people think that actually that data may be made up or may have been uh, corrected in some way to make it fit the data and um, fit the model better okay so these are considerations and a low chi-squared statistic can flag that up